So at, at first thing, you can actually see a hyperinflated air sac. You can see it's an air sac because it feels like air. You can see the very thin membrane. So all I'm gonna really do is just take a needle and nick it open for the first time. We might try a short course of an antibiotic mm -hmm. and see if we can stop um, this buildup. This is the cervicocephalic. Cervico is the Latin name for neck. Cephalic is this, is this area. So cervicocephalic air sac. There are many air sacs in a bird and this has got a one-way valve. So what's happened is the one-way valve is not working like it should. Um, so we often find vitamin A deficiency is a problem because there, there's um, epithelial cells that block the valve and infections can be a thing like chlamydia and other respiratory infections. So the first thing I'm going to do is really just deflate it today, give it a bit of vitamin A and maybe some doxy and we'll see how we go with this. But um, we can do more extensive, but on a first, on a first, on a first effort, this would be reasonable. And we haven't even anesthetized the bird, it's paper thin. It's not a I've used a very big needle because I want quite a big hole. So I've made, I've, made, I've made a hole and you can actually see it's completely deflated. You can see the hole. I've just deflated it. So it's not, at least now we know that it's not, um, well you can't see the air sac anymore. Hopefully it won't heal straight away. We're going to um, give it its vitamin A injections. So we're using, I'm using a Vetafarm product, it's ADEC. And you guys are all sing as avian vets. You get to use one hand. And I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give him 0.1, which is a tenth of a mil. He weighs 480. So the, 480 means I should probably give him a little more. The dose is actually 0.1 per 150 grams, but I think that's quite a high dose. This, this bird belongs to an owner that actually feeds it really well. I know it gets very good nutrition, very good vitamin A. But hasn't always, because it's from a rescue background. But I mean, we're trying to just do the common things, because it will be nice if we can do it, if we ever can heal with doing just the absolute minimum. So I'm going to try and we, now we inject, where do we inject birds? We inject them in the breast muscle, you can see the breast muscle quite clearly. I mean it's, it's sticking in out of my mouth. In this case mark. it's a plucker, so. Yeah, so you can see the breast muscle very clearly. You can't really see where the injection's gone, it's in the muscle, this is the, this is the sternum. You can see the stern. I'll just show you when you so when you inject when you're injecting birds, you want to go. So he has a sternum from here to here. So you want to go not at the very top, not at the very bottom, just on the side, and at a bit of an angle. So that's the kind of angle we give. You can see this bird's had massive surgery here before. Previously, we had these massive fat lumps, and they've just healed fantastically. This is PDS, some of the suture that hasn't healed. But this little guy's very lucky. Very lucky that it's getting good treatment, and uh, you can see there was there's 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 no you can see where I've done that little hole, but he's no worse for wear. And let's see how that goes. This is a really large needle. It's a pink needle, which means it's 18 gauge, and it now goes back into recycle.